channels open up their videos with welcome back fellow journeyers or they'll call their their audience adventurers something like that and, and i i tried for a second and the only thing that came to mind was what up you landlocked liberty lovers <laughs> didn't quite feel right so we'll come back to that I just love these wise cams and all the shenanigans that they capture around our rig, whether it's cute little kitties in the middle of the night or some possible hoodlums where they get scared off by our security lights or just like random people. I love studying human behavior. I think I'm just gonna continue posting little clips here and there just cause I find it entertaining. And it does go to showcase the different places that we're in and the people that are, that we're nearby. So I think that's kind of cool. If I'm completely honest, my best video inspiration does seem to hit when I'm either in the middle of a nice long shower or when I'm on the john. While I'm here, let's talk about toilet paper. I know a lot of folks do use RV specific toilet paper and they might swear by it. If you ask an RV salesperson what they think, they are of course going to recommend RV specific toilet paper. However, we have tried RV toilet paper and if that's what we get with our RV, of course I'm gonna use it, but I would never recommend it and we won't buy it. RV toilet paper is thin, uncomfortable, expensive. It's way more expensive than what you would get regular toilet paper for at Walmart or whatever. And and frankly, it doesn't make a difference. In six years of RVing, dealing with black tanks and such, I have never once had a clog. That's pretty great. But I've also really only used, say, Charmin or whatever generic brand of toilet paper that is three or four ply and is cheapest at the time. And we all know that 2020 was not good for the toilet paper shortage. Whatever I could get my hands on, that's what we use. Now, if you think that it's not going to break down the same or it's gonna cause clogs and nonsense think again and there are other channels of course to do reviews on the best toilet paper the best products and whatever but i would really hesitate before i would take that advice there is nothing at all wrong with using let's just take sherman you can put that in your black tank and as you drive it's going to break down in fact if you don't believe me take a cup put some water in it about halfway put a square or two of toilet paper from either brand so the rv specific toilet paper and then Charmin or whatever you use at home shake it up see which one breaks down more and then more importantly see which one evacuates when you go to dump that cup i would be willing to bet the rv specific toilet paper is not going to break down quite as well and is more likely to actually stick to the edge of the cup now of course the trick is you do want to use enough liquid and keep enough liquid in your black tank especially for guys don't go outside and don't go to the campgrounds bathrooms and use their systems and then find that you don't have a good combination of liquids and solids in your tank so of course that's going to cause things to sort of back up and pile up that rv poop pyramid is real if you let it be never once had that happen there are definite differences between a regular septic tank and a black water tank it is in some ways a miniature septic tank so treat it as such if you have concerns about it you can certainly get septic safe toilet paper and maybe do a comparison of that toilet paper is a very individual choice so do with this information what you will but i will say i would never spend the money on rv toilet paper that's it for this video and I hope you learned something. If you disagree, fight with me down below in the comments. Leave a like and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.